everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another review and first impression. I got in the mail the new Urban Decay Lip Mousse Modern Matte Finish Weightless Waterproof a lip mousse. To be honest, I have never heard of a lip mousse. I do know that there is a mousse foundation. I think a lot of brands have them. I believe Maybelline was the first one to come out with a mousse foundation, but now there is something called a lip mousse. So these babies are in four shades, uh, wavelength, fade, noise, and frequency. So it's like a, I think a nude, brown, purple, uh, pink and then a red or maybe orange one. I don't know. Um, let's open it. The shade I wanted to try is of course the bright orange or red one. Of course, I'm gonna swatch the other shades, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, it looks like an eyeshadow. Wait, it does look like an eyeshadow. I don't even wanna touch it because I'm afraid that I will ruin it. Wait, let me take out the plastic. All right, ooh, comes with a tiny brush. Can you see that? It's like the brushes we <laughs> used to use before to do our eyeshadow. So yeah, I believe I have to, <gasps> I don't want to, but I have to go into the lip mousse with this brush and let's see. Just gonna do both sides of the brush. I am going to feel how it feels with my hands, of course. All right, it feels kind of harsh, not really, Moosey? <laughs> no, it doesn't feel like an actual mousse, but it doesn't matter. Hmm, I feel like there isn't a lot of product coming off. I'm gonna... Oh yeah. Ooh! When you press into it, it, it just... It's a mousse. So I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. It's so weird. It feels like clay. It is a pretty color though. I feel like she. I'm not really a fan of the little brush, but I think it's a good thing because if you want to apply this shade and you want to put it in your bag, like how else are you going to apply it? So that's a great thing. Uh, the texture is pretty soft. It is a matte finish, but it is not drying. All right, so the lip mousse is on. I do like the color, obviously. This is totally me. Uh, the only thing I didn't like is, look at that. I had to use a lot of products to, you know, fill my entire lips with this mousse. And I don't know if this is a very good thing. I love the idea of it, by the way. And it reminds me of the um, NYX Powder Puff. It reminds me of the Powder Puff by NYX. It kind of has the same texture, only that one comes just in a like a regular lip gloss tube or however you want to call it. Um, it, I love the ID. I love the ID. Uh, the product itself, it's 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 very comfortable to wear. I love the color. Yeah, it's kind of a velvet texture. That's what I was looking for. It feels velvet on the lips. It is not too pigmented. Uh, that's because I had to take a lot of product out of the jar to be able to fill my lips, but um, I think it's cute. I like it. By the way, this is in the shade Frequency. I'm gonna swatch the other shades, and I'm gonna start off with Fade. I'm not gonna use the brush to do the swatches. I'm just gonna use my hands. All right, so this is in the shade Fade, which is kind of a pinkish brown nude. Next, we have the shade Wavelength. That's very purple. Definitely a very bright purple shade. This immediately reminds me of Heroin by MAC. I think it's the exact same color. By the way, do you see how light my hands are compared to my face and body? Again, this is the shade Wavelength. And then last but not least is the color Noise. Oh, gorgeous. If my sister sees this, she's gonna ask me if she can have this because this is totally her. And I do love this shade. It's kind of a purple pink. Oh, very pretty. 
So yeah, my loves, that was my review of the new Urban Decay Lip Mousse. Like I said, I like the texture. It's kind of a velvet texture. It's matte, but it is not drying, and that's what I like about it. I do think that the pigmentation is not that good because I had to reapply and go over it with the sponge that comes with it or um, lip applicator, eyeshadow applicator. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but I think it's a great product. And for that, I think it's pretty cute. I'm not saying that I am in love with this product, I'm in love with this color, and um, I'm in love with how it feels, but, you know, taking this with me everywhere I go with the applicator, I don't know, I'm, you know, that's just not really something that I would do, but yeah, that's my opinion. By the way, the makeup look I'm wearing right now, like on my eyes and my uh, face makeup, I do filmed a Instagram yeah. video, which will be up the day after you see this video, I think, I hope. <laughs> Let's see if I have time to edit the video. But yeah, that was the video. That was my review. If you have these lip mousse thingies, let me know your opinions. Uh, let me know what you think of this video, the swatches. Please just give me your opinion because I would like to know. But be nice. I can handle a lot, but don't, you know, know what I mean. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Oh, wait, uh, don't go yet. I'm still here. Um, That's because I just had dinner. I had cereals and I ate spaghetti. Yes, I had my cereals as a dessert, but I just wanted to film this very quickly for you to show you how my lips look like. Mm, the product is still on, so that's good. And yeah, it's, do you see that it's not like everywhere, but that's good, right? So yeah, that was what I wanted to share with you real quick, how this lippy looks like after you had cereals and spaghetti.